soldier to soldier, cop to cop. Yeah. Basically, we know we know we were there. When you walked over there, what did you first observe? I stepped over a log and, and found the remains. And specifically, um, when you said remains, what did you see? Specifically, I found a human skull. On February 6th, 2023, human remains were discovered in a wooded area over 20 miles from Norcross, Georgia. Two days later, dental records identified the remains as 16-year-old Susanna Morales, setting off a shocking chain of events. The following day, a firearm was discovered near the site, and when ballistics were run on it, it linked 22-year-old police officer Miles Bryant to the case. Okay, can I pat you down yeah. just to make sure? What's going on? Uh, you're good. I, it's our policy, man. We just yeah, I, I know how this road yeah. life. After his arrest on February 13th, 2023, several women came forward accusing Miles of stalking and breaking into their homes. And I, I have your back. That's what I'm saying. Like you're like family. You yeah. know what I'm saying? We're we're all family here. The police officer, trusted to protect them, was arrested for an unthinkably gruesome crime. I was shocked. I felt like it could have been me because he was the person at my door coming and unscrewing my knob and kicking it down and stuff like that. This screen grab of a man in military fatigues from October shows the first time Bates says a neighbor's camera recorded him at her door. She says two other videos from December show him back there again, covering his face and pulling on the door handle, then again knocking. On July 26th at approximately 6 p.m., we know that Susanna Morales left her home on Santa Ana Drive in Norcross and walked a short distance to the Sterling Glen apartment complex on Indian Trail Road. There, she met with her friend for about four hours and at about 10 o'clock, she began her trek back to her house. We know that between 10 and 10.30 p.m., uh, Susanna had an interaction with an individual and ultimately was not seen or heard from again. Miles Bryant was promptly brought in for questioning. Let's play basketball. Sorry. No, you're, no, no, you're, you're good, good man. man. We've, been, we've, been, we've been all over this complex. Oh, we've man. Been. You Dorville? Yeah. How long cool. you been with them? About two and a half years, no? You like it? Yeah. So, um, yeah, when she first was missing, I was talking to her about neighborhood team, stuff like that. I didn't really know anything. Um, I don't really get to too much watching the news, and my girl used to stay here. We literally just moved out, and pretty much it. Yeah. Nothing. What are those neighbor kids, neighborhood kids saying? I haven't talked to them in a minute, but when she first was missing, it was like they was just with her, and they was joining on each other, some crazy stuff. Yeah. I haven't heard anything actually. Like me and my girl was talking about it, stuff like that. So like it's just weird. They said she was walking home, and then she just, you know. And that's what we're just we're just out here asking questions and stuff. Um, like how many calls do you get like being cursed? I'm not. None of us yeah. are cursed. All right. What? So. Um, we we just got some questions. We got to run over like um, you know some stuff. It seems like you're courtesy here, so you know kind of things. What, what, what's going on? Well and, versed in what's happening in the complex. So we you know you got some time for us to, to come up to our headquarters and to talk about it, of, of you know what you see on a daily basis and stuff like that. Yeah. Um. Can that be today? Yeah. Yeah. Now? Uh. No. I was actually finna head out. So where, where are you going? I have to go meet my girlfriend and I have to work later. Okay. Would I be out by time work? Or what time? What time? Four. Okay. Yeah, it should be. I mean, we, like, like I said, we just got some questions. That you, courtesy officer, between you and the leasing office, you guys probably get calls all the day. And we're, we're, we're literally talking to everyone here. So we're just trying to document every, you know, we got no leads, man. We're just trying to, trying to document everything. That's all we are. No problem. Yeah. Okay. Do I, do I come with y'all? Can I drive there? We'll drive you, man. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll take you up there. Yeah, you don't got to waste your gas or anything and all that stuff. Can I drive? Can I gas, man? Uh, can I call my girlfriend up there later? Right we'll, we'll call her once we get up there, okay? Right, right now, we'll just go up there. Um, you got any guns or anything on you no, right I now? No, I don't. That's just... You don't? No. Okay, can I pat you down yeah. just to make sure? What's you going on, man? You're good. I, it's our policy, man. We just... Yeah, I, I don't know how this road is. Yeah. yeah, you know. You know how it is. You know that we don't want to get our balls busted with the GVM and everything. All right? You can get, get up front seat, all right, man? Miles Bryant is on his way to questioning, oblivious that his life is about to take a dramatic turn. So you said you worked at Forsyth. Yes. So how long did you work at Forsyth? Um, maybe a year. Okay. You go to school or anything? Like college? Mm -hmm. I thought about it, but I want to get working, so. Okay. 
So what do you want to do? Me? Police department. Uh, I want to go, I want to get like a crime suppression team, stuff like that. Yeah? And probably like lead go, it? Yeah. Nice. They probably go, not lead it, you know, and then probably go to like CID. Okay. Detective. What kind of, what kind of CID stuff do you want to do? Uh, we just have general CID. I don't know. I know it's not oh, a brand new yeah, that's right. Like that. City agency. Yeah. Yeah. I want to do like, I want to do like, maybe like burglary. Mm -hmm. For like that, I hate people who steal, you know? Yeah. I'm like this. Okay. So, um, I know that your, your gun was stolen. Do you know if it was located or anything yet? No, I've already been. I haven't run it yet. I wonder, we probably need to check that see if it's still, but they yeah. would have called you. Miles Bryant reported the gun stolen the morning after Morales disappeared, but requested that no detective be assigned to investigate the theft. Detective William Merkley notes that it was unusual that Bryant didn't want the gun's disappearance investigated, raising further suspicion. I just... Did you know her at all, Morales? Mm -hmm. Nothing? Mm -hmm. Never never saw her like playing basketball or anything with the other kids? I never, I never recognized her at all. That is crazy. However, Alyssa Marvin has a different perspective to share. Uh, had you ever had any personal interactions with the defendant before Susanna disappeared? Yes. And can you tell us what those are? Um, so there was one time, well, there was multiple times he would drive by and you know, he'll say hello and everything to everyone. Um, and it was one time we were at the pool and it was me and Kelly. Susanna came after, like towards the end before we left. But we were there at the pool and he came and he came with his backpack and he had um, a drink with him and he had little shot cups and he had um, edibles and stuff. And he asked how old I was. And then when I told him my age, he like still wanted to talk to me, but didn't talk to me because of my age. So he knew not to drink with me, but he wanted to drink with me before he knew my age. But he still offered the edibles. But then that was the interaction I had with him that night. And before we left, I believe it was the same day we wanted to order pizza because, you know, it's a hot day outside. Who wants, you know, someone wants to eat. We wanted to eat and we was going to order pizza. He offered us to give us a ride to get pizza, but we said no because we're underage. You're grown, you know, so we said no to that. We ordered pizza. We went home about our day. That was like the one, like I could say face to face interaction, full conversation. Miles, yes. this is where we're at, OK? And I'm gonna be completely honest with you. You, your phone records, your phone records are there. Um, you make two phone calls three hours after she's last seen on camera. Mm -hmm. um, and your gun is found right there as well right. with your phone, where those two phone calls are placed. Mm -hmm. Help me out. So, you know, I, I understand where this coming from. No, I'm, I'm saying, yeah. I know you did. Just help me out a little bit. Yeah. Mm -mm. I don't know what you're thinking, but no. What would you think? You think I said do No, that. I said, what would you think? Oh, no, I totally, I get, I get that part. But now, now my heart is beating. It's like, whoa, you know, mm -hmm. I get that. That, That's almost like, hey, you know, stuff like that. But no, I, I've never been like that, you know, mm -hmm. I, I would never do something like that. Mm -hmm. uh, I was actually on the phone with her, two phone, and her and my side chick, mm -hmm. like that. And I'm talking to them about stuff, that's it. Uh, What's your side chick name? Avian. Avian, that's the one that lives? Uh, I'll still area. You getting chicks around by your girlfriend and then call your side chick to decompress? Yeah. And then I'm talking to my girlfriend and end up meeting stuff like that. So, the phone records put you literally right there. and. It's not your personal phone. You call her on your work phone. Yeah. Why'd you do that? I think my personal phone's dead. Okay. But I, I have other numbers. I just need to calm down. Mm -hmm. It shows you in the woods. In the woods? Mm -hmm. uh, I wouldn't know that. I've never left my show. I don't think I was in the woods. Cell phone data placed Miles near the location of Susanna's remains on the night she disappeared. Records also indicated that his phone returned to the area later that morning, about an hour before he reported his firearm stolen. Mm, my DNA, whatever. I... We, we, we've done that. Um, soldier to soldier, cop to cop. Yeah. I told you I've looked into Susanna. Yeah. I know what kind of friends she had. Mm -hmm. I know what she did, mm -hmm. and I know how she was. 
basically we know we know you were there but we need to figure out why and what happened i don't think you're a bad guy i don't mm -hmm. you weren't brought up here in handcuffs or anything yeah, no, no. so and I, I have your back that's what i'm saying like you're like family you yeah. know what i'm saying we're, we're all family here i gotta figure out what happened yeah. because there's no arguing if you were there, if you weren't, we know you were. Right. So we have to, I know that it was more than your, you were talking to your girlfriend, there was, there was movement around there, so that's what we have to cover right now, yeah. okay? Tell me what happened, please. That, I don't know, I literally was with my girlfriend, I was on the phone with my girlfriend, and that's it. Miles' ex-girlfriend, Evian Smear, contradicts his story of that night and points out suspicious scratches on his truck. But then, Dr. Carol Terry's testimony regarding the autopsy leaves more questions than answers. In this case, I called the cause of death undetermined due to decomposition with skeletonization. I believe if I had had the intact body, I could have, uh, could have come up with a specific cause of death. But I'm limited based on what I have. The body is too decomposed. All I have is a skeleton because the circumstances Again, young female, this isolated area where it's far removed when she, from where she was last known to be alive and no personal effects, no clothing. As a medical examiner with 30 years of experience, if I were to find an, if I were to see an intact individual at this type of a scene, first thing I'm going to think of is some type of, type of homicidal violence, uh, specifically some type of asphyxial type component, strangulation, suffocation, chest compression, things of that nature. Because if you have a nude individual, nude or partially nude, that better be, as a medical examiner, that better be one of the first things you're thinking about. Though the autopsy couldn't definitively prove assault, Miles' actions were sexually motivated. In addition, Detective Angela Carter's findings from Miles' search history were impossible to ignore. I found photographs of him um, looking at the media coverage of Susanna that had the pictures attached to them. All right, now 396, what are we looking for here? How are you ID by dental records? And when did this search occur? February 9th, 2023 at 4.04 a.m. UTC time, which would be February 8th, 2023 at 11.04 p.m. All right. How long after the defendant searched for the camera footage from the Georgia Department of Transportation, and I'll, I'll try to put them both on the screen here, did he search for how, to, how was somebody identified by dental records? A little over 10 minutes later. And then lastly, it says record number 404. Uh, what is that search? Gwinnett County teen found. As evidence mounted against Miles, a shocking twist emerged when his fellow inmate, Michael Jones, testified about a brief interaction they had in prison. Okay, and what conversation did you have with him about, uh, about the, some of the details of what was contained in the discovery? After a few days, after he read it, looked over it, he came back out and he said, well, I don't think, they ain't, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not gonna get charged for this. They ain't got nothing against me. There's no, it says right here, plain, he says, it says right here, plain, there's no blood, no semen, no nothing. They, they, they can't, there's, uh, they ain't got nothing against me. Miles, I'm getting frustrated because I feel like you think I'm lying to you. No, I, I believe, I no. believe. Because maybe I am wrong about you. Maybe I'm wrong. You also tried to get into a girl's apartment off Annistown. Did you didn't? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, your phone was just casually there, too? No, I, I had, they had a whole investigation about that. I was there, but I didn't try to break in her apartment. She she lied. So what was you trying to do? I was talking to her. Like, we, we was free, like, my... You didn't, you didn't try to open her door? Me and my sergeant... You, you didn't try, you didn't answer my question. You didn't try to open her door? Yes. Okay, I know. Why was you hiding your, um, head? It Why was didn't, raining. Oh, it was raining. Where was your PC? Mm -hmm. You was wearing a gray jacket. Yeah, because I... That was a violation of a, um, six... You're right. Yeah, exactly. Because you didn't want anyone to see your hat because it has your name on the back of your head. Okay? No, I didn't have a piece of mine, I swear. I know, exactly. Yeah. Because you didn't want people to see your name. No. Yes. Well, she knew exactly yes. where I was. I took... She knew where I was. She didn't want you there. She didn't ever tell me that. She never told did she me tell, that. Did she invite you over? No. 
She, you didn't. So you just show up to this girl's apartment and try to break in. That's how it looks, right? Yeah. So casually, you're just a victim in all this. You're just casually being in all these like victim situations where you're just casually in the wrong place at the wrong time. That's what you're telling me. No, I, I, my sergeant did a whole investigation. Miles, you gotta just take a minute, take a breath. I you gotta, you gotta, you gotta stop. No, no, no. Hey, Miles, Miles, a suspect in this. It's okay. Take a breath. Take a deep breath. We need your help. We need. We want to give this family closure. I understand okay. that. Your gun's there. Your phone puts you in the woods. What can we give this family? You're not a bad person, Miles. This is gonna look, this is not just an effect on you, this is an effect on all officers everywhere. I know, I'm, I'm not, it's not me. It's not me. If you were me, what would you do? I understand it, I, I, I don't know. Tell me, what, what What would you do, tell me? Investigate some more stuff like that, I don't know. Like you, what? You, you did, your, I know you did your thing, you did your deal with this. Not, I, no, I, nothing to do with that part. You can ask my girlfriend, when she's, nobody, nobody was with me. When she was with me, even before you know, all that, that shit, nobody was with me. How do you explain your truck being parked in front of Susanna's house a month after she went missing? What you mean? So do you guys use Vigilant? You know what Vigilant is? Mm -hmm. So it compiles, you got LPR cars? Yeah. So it takes every LPR car, and it takes all the LPR cars from like the repo people? Mm -hmm and it puts it into Vigilant, and we can research that. Mm -hmm. So doing our due diligence, your truck is sitting outside Susanna's house. Where does she, I don't, where does she live? I sit outside her house. Where does she live? Can you show me my truck? I can't. Sure can. No, no I can't. Pretty sure I took a picture of it though. Like just sitting there? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't even know where she lives. God. It's not a question about if it's you or not, because we already know that. No. But listen, it's a question about what happened, okay? Send it. It's not. It's a question about if you are a cold-blooded killer, or if you made a mistake. That's literally oh. where we're at right now. Miles is in deep denial, but the detectives, determined to extract a confession, escalate their approach by sending in more aggressive and confrontational interrogators. Because you know you killed her that night. No. So, yes, the evidence is yes. No, I did not kill her, and it wasn't nothing. So then did you dump her body there? No. Did somebody else kill her? I don't know. It had to. It wasn't me. Well, you have some part. You have some sort of part in it. There's no other way you can have all this on this incident. There's no other way, unless you have a part in it. I have no part in it. It's impossible. It's a bold faced lie. No. It's impossible. So you're telling me right right here, you think that a jury is gonna believe you when your gun is there, when your phone is there, your truck is in front of a house a month later, three days after the incident, you're calling her sister to find out what they know. Do you think a jury's gonna believe that? No. Especially my, the jury now. Yeah. Jury's hate cops. Yeah. My, the truck incident, was it, was it moving? I don't remember ever stopping and looking at somebody's house. It was, it was stopped. Yeah. You know, it's probably the same thing where, you know, you found, you found the sign of the missing person and you just randomly call her sister to find out what she knows or what she can tell you. And now you just randomly went out and parked in front of her house to see if maybe you could be the superstar who finds her walking down the street and return her home. No, no, none of that. No. Well, then what, what connection do you have with her address? Nothing. I, I, if it's a neighborhood, I drove around the entire neighborhood. It's not. Why? What you mean? Why would you be drive? Why would you drive around her neighborhood? I drive around. I told them I drive around everywhere, but not to, not for her. I was helping to sit in front of her address. That's so here's the thing. Here's the way those LPRs work. Yeah. Because it, it's not from it's not from a police car. Police cars those run all the time. Right. The repo people don't turn them on the street. They're going through. Parking lots, apartment complexes, neighborhoods, they're looking for repo cars. That's where we get a lot most of our data. So you were parked. I can't be parked. You said earlier yourself earlier the data doesn't lie. The data doesn't lie that your phone's there. The data doesn't lie that your gun is there where her body's found. The data doesn't lie your truck is sitting outside of her house. The DNA, DNA sure ain't gonna lie, because that lasts forever. Yeah. It can't I could not be I, that's the one that's flushed to me. Outside her house sitting there, it couldn't be. That flusters you? 
That's what sports. No, no, that, I'm just saying that's the part. Or is that one of the many things that are a coincidence that night? Is that what you think you were going to get caught on? No, no. What caught on? They, they got what, nothing to do with this. Sorry, man. It's not in enough. Do you have anything else that we can do to help you? I don't know, man. I, I, so you, 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 you uh, basically, you're telling us you've been framed. <laughs> No, it's like Frank, though. Okay, so set how, this up, you know? How do how do we? I'm, I'm trying, man. That's I'm trying. I, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I cannot lie. I don't know. So you want us to just move forward with the evidence we have? Can I put you in jail today? I have no. I don't know. I have nothing. You can explain what really happened. If that's what you have. That's what for some reason you're holding on to that, and I don't know why. No, I don't know. I don't know. I no. I no part of that part. So, when we interview a suspect right. in a case, and I, I don't, I don't know. You've been a police officer what two years? Just a, okay. You just done patrol, just routine contacts with people. So you never actually really interviewed someone. So we read body language, right. big time. And the body language we're reading from you is that you are one hundred percent guilty. Because the stuff you're you're giving us is just not telling us that you're not guilty. Understand it? No, I'm not guilty. You know, I was so nervous. I'm I was I'm not nervous. I'm fucking. It nervous. has nothing to do with being nervous. Nothing to do. Most of the time, it's oh, thank God, that ain't me. No, that's not what it was. Not with you. It's totally different. That's why you're still here. Because we were hoping to come in here today and you were going to give us a good reason on why it's not you. And unfortunately, it's gone the other way for you. You just got to man up. You're a military man. You're a police officer. We don't know why you did this to this girl. I did it. I will not say you that. Said not. You, you the, said the only thing now you can do is, you know, explain what happened and maybe show some remorse. I did not do it. I feel bad. That, that nothing should happen to somebody. But... I didn't do that. Sorry. I don't believe you. I'm just being honest with you. In our jobs, we talk to people. Mm -hmm. You know, you get a feel for a person, but you haven't dispelled any of the evidence against you. You know, her body was found, you know, with no clothing. Granted, we know she decomposed, but I don't know if you know how when animals attack, you know, dead people, they, they don't eat the clothing. Mm -hmm. So her clothes should have been there. So her clothes were not there. So that means she was naked when she was dumped. Now, now it just looks like a violent, violent murder. And unless we can tell the jury otherwise on what happened, that's what it's going to go to court as. I'm, I'm not trying to get charged with this. I mean, you were in the woods, literally over her dead body. I'm sorry. How do you not see that? Your gun was right there, dude. I was out there with her bones and with your gun. Literally, just looking. Really? Wow, look at that. We, we, look at we that. can serve so close. Those good detectives, but... A lot of times we don't. A lot of times we don't find the gun. Yeah, I can't. I, but when the gun is sitting right there, yeah. it's right there. You want to see a picture again? I think the picture was sitting in the woods. There it is. Not buried. Not thrown. Not hidden. Just sitting there with natural pine straw falling on top, like you mistakenly dropped it. You know, and, and and even as we looked into the, my car got broken into. You know, when people go grabbing door handles, because you left your truck unlocked, right? Yeah. What do they do? They grab hundreds of door handles. Because how many entering autos happened that night? No. Just yours. Zero. So you said yourself earlier, your complex gets hit all the time. Yeah. Multiple people. Yeah. No, how... How is it just convenient for you that your truck is the only one that gets broken into in the back of the complex? We're not stopping at any other building along the way. They're going straight to Miles' truck, and that's it. 
stay. Because that was a false report of a crime. It was not. Because you dropped your gun in the woods. No, I didn't. I think you were using your weapon light as a flashlight to figure out where you're going to dump her. No. I have plenty of flashlights. I don't know. I wouldn't No, I wouldn't even do that. So, yeah. You know, what else are we going to do? Oh, I did not. I'm not. Man, I'm not trying to go to jail for this. I did not have nothing to do with it. I know how it looks up like that, but that's not me. I would not do that to somebody. That's, that's wrong. I have morals. Clearly not. I have morals. No, so we, we I don't got, see any. We got you. When you're 22, you're trying to open a lady's door. I mean, is, is this all a guy with morals and all coincidence? Yeah, is that a situation? Person? That was a situation? That's my friend. Like, before that date, we had no... You can talk... We talked to her on the phone. She is not your friend. Yeah, now she's not. I don't know why. All of a sudden, I don't know if she got in trouble she, with her boyfriend or not. Everybody's just out to get you. No. Miles. Everybody's no. just out to get Miles. Even she told my sergeant that we, we haven't talked in forever, but my sergeant verified that we have. Am I going to jail today? What do you think? If you had the evidence we had, what would you do? I understand what you're saying. But I don't, I don't Literally, I know you keep saying, I understand, I understand. If you had the facts that we have, what would you do? You would think it was me, but I, I don't I guess it's, I can tell you it's not. So, so we're sitting here, and I came back in here, and I don't normally do this. I'm a supervisor. Right. I don't get involved in interviews. But unfortunately, I need something to say you're not involved in this. And, and you, you can't provide anything, and that's... That's impossible. Unless you did it. No. I know you keep saying no. You can, yeah. you, you can stop stop saying no. Okay, okay. Provide me with a reason why it's not you. I wouldn't do I, I don't know. I wouldn't do anything like that. That night. Do you know how many people we bring in here that charged yeah. with this that said they wouldn't do that? Which when we found your gun, we're like, oh man, somebody stole this guy's gun and did this. But then the first thing we see are these two other reports. And then your phone's there. And then it, it just got worse. And then you're sitting out front of her house. I didn't you know, know. And then you're calling her sister from Star Six. It's like the snowball I, just started. I, I mean, got bigger and bigger just rolling down the hill. There's been nothing to say. It's not you. No, talk, to, talk to my girlfriend. Despite the overwhelming evidence against him, Miles does not intend to confess his crimes. Why was your gun being stolen like of, of so little importance to you? I just, I, had, I have a lot. Of, I have a lot of guns. So, so I wanted to report it. So, 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 Mr. Cop over here, I have a lot of guns. So I don't care that I won't no, stolen anything with that. Let me finish. And and we don't care if that gun's used to kill a cop over here. In I Manhattan. do. I, obviously, I care. You didn't let me you finish. You didn't care. You told us you didn't even want a detective. Let me finish. You didn't even want a detective assigned to your case. You told the officer you don't even have to investigate this. Because if you because if we investigate it, we're gonna find it and it's gonna be near a dead body that you killed. No. If you can say no, I don't hear that word from you no more. You just keep going on and on and on. And the stuff you're saying, you know, I don't respect you as a cop. Okay, I don't respect you as a person anymore. The detectives conclude their interrogation without securing a confession from Miles. Susanna's family attorney, Alex Northover, states that the Doraville police failed to take timely corrective action. There were multiple indications that, that this individual um, presented a danger. Um, there was a previous allegation of stalking. Alex Northover asserts that the city of Doraville should be held accountable, adding that he communicated with officials during the ongoing criminal and civil investigations. Take responsibility for their role in this tragic incident and take measures to make sure that this doesn't happen again. He suggests it's time to reform the process of recruiting new officers. Increased hiring, screening procedures, adequate training. Yet more startling revelations are on the horizon. While he was on duty and in uniform, asked her to utilize her cell phone because he needed to log into his bank. And instead of doing so, he accessed her videos and sent himself videos of conducting activity on her phone. He's a danger to women in this community. He is a, uh, has, has not upheld the oath that he took to protect and serve both the citizens of Doraville and the state of Georgia. The jury viewed police body cam footage documenting Miles' interaction with the girl who returned home after being reported missing by her family in May 2022. 
something was happening to you. We're doing a, a or a missing person, then we find your body out there in the woods. Then what? Because I know you're probably strong and you're smart and you know say no to strangers and stuff like that. But nowadays people don't care. People are my size big and just come snatch you up. You can scream, you can shout all you want, and will throw you in your back of the van and go take you and your parents will never see you again. This badge is supposed to stand for something. It's supposed to stand for the obligation somebody takes to serve and to protect their community. Every officer takes that sworn statement. It's on the side of police cars. They are to serve and to protect. That flag, the United States flag, means something. When somebody in the National Guard takes an oath to uphold and defend the Constitution of the United States and the laws of our country and the laws of the United of the state of Georgia, it means something. But to the defendant, it meant nothing. He took those oaths, and as you've seen through the trial, violated them time and time again. He didn't serve, he didn't protect, he abused. He took his power, he took his badge, and he used that to violate the law. He used that to murder. He is a cop term killer. Do you personally, Miles Bryan, want to testify or not? No, ma'am. The defendant has freely and voluntarily decided not to testify with a complete understanding of his rights. Have, has the jury reached a verdict? <clears throat> okay, if you'll hand it to my bailiff. State of Georgia versus Miles Bryant. Indictment number 24B00156-4. Count one, malice murder. We, the jury, found the defendant guilty. Count two, felony murder. We, the jury, find the defendant guilty. Count three, kidnapping. We, the jury, find the defendant guilty. Count four, criminal attempt to commit. We, the jury, find the defendant not guilty. Count five, false report of a crime. We, the jury, find the defendant guilty. It took just over five hours to reach a verdict, a moment Susanna Morales' family had been waiting for for nearly two years. All he ever wanted was, it was justice for what happened to her. I mean, nothing will ever bring her back and to this day. I still hope that I'll see her again. I just hope that after today, you and your family can find some peace. That is what I wish for you. Hopefully, you will receive some peace now. Did the police mishandle Susanna's case by not publicizing it sooner? Were the prior stalking claims against Miles Bryant overlooked due to his position as an officer? Was Susanna's abduction and murder premeditated or a crime of opportunity? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Like, share, and subscribe to the channel for more such content.